So before you start watching this video, a little disclaimer. Uh, we've done it pretty quick. Um, we're trying to get back to cutting beans. Uh, we did get the rotor belt changed. Combine's back at it. So uh, the disclaimer is that uh, I've done it pretty fast. Oh, Dad's already got the beans back there cut. So we did it pretty fast. And uh, the video is not as good as it could be, but it gives you a lot of helpful little tips on how to change the rotor belt. Um, the book has the whole procedure for moving a gearbox and stuff out of the way, but as you can see in the video, I found that you don't have to really move that gearbox. Uh, you can just loop the wall up with the rotor housing and slip that belt. Oh, it's rough out here. You slip that belt right past it without any problems. So uh, that saves a little time. If you look in the book, it's it's a it's like a three-page deal of changing the rotor belt. It's really not that complicated. All you gotta do is get that that yoke off the end of the shaft for the gearbox that drives the head. You get that yoke off, you get the little chain off that adjusts the rotor speed, and then you can get it slipped around there. Get it on your rotor pulley first, spread the rotor pulley, get your pulley, your belt down in that pulley, and then put it on the actual drive pulley for the rotor on the uh, on right there on the, the adjustable pulley. So enjoy the video. If it didn't help you, let me know. If it did, let me know. And we can always go back and do that video sometime to make it better. But anyways, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button for more helpful videos on the Case IH 1660 combines. Or really, it covers a lot of the Case IH combines. So, but like I said, she's up and going again, so we're back to cutting beans. So, and yes, this is a 10-20, 25-foot 20, 20, uh, head on a L2 cleaner. Yeah. So, best thing I've ever done for this cleaner. So, anyways, I'm going to get back to cutting beans. Thanks for watching. Well, on this episode of Dirt Green Steel, I'm going to show you how to change a rotor belt on a Case IH Axial Flow Combine, a 1660. A couple of guys have asked me to do a video on how to change a rotor belt, and I told Dad a week ago, I was like, we need to do, at some point, a how-to video on how to change a rotor belt on a 1660. And he said, well, ours is new. I said, yeah. I said, well, maybe next time it rains, we'll just do a video on how to change one. Maybe we won't actually tear it apart. But we'll point to stuff that has to be taken off and tell what has to be done. Well, Dad calls me a little bit ago. He's like, hey. He's like, uh, my rotor belt broke. He's like, you jinxed it. I'm talking about doing a video on it. So, we're going to do a how-to video on how to change a rotor belt on a 1660. So dad's on his way back from Bain Welker Equipment. He's got the belt. He took the old one with him, so he had the part numbers off the belt. So I'm going to get tools and get up there and start taking stuff apart. I'll show you what has to come off and has to be what has to be done to get the new belt on. It's a little windy out here, so I apologize if there's any wind noise. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so we got all our necessary tools we need, socket set, wrenches. So what we're going to do is we need to get this yoke off, get this drive shaft for your uh, head gearbox moved over in the slot and out of the way. Then we're going to close this pulley up, take this chain off, loosen these bolts up down here, and we're going to pry this gearbox and turn it a little bit out of our way so that we'll be able to bring that belt through here and get it onto the... Uh, onto the rotor shiv itself. So we're gonna have to put the rotor back in gear. It's full of crop material right now. We're gonna have to put it back in gear and get this spread open to get our belt down in it. And then when we're all done, we'll put the rotor in neutral, we'll run it, and that'll make that open back up and everything will be the way it should be. So I'm gonna start tearing stuff apart so we can get this belt on so we can get back to cutting beans. So now that you have your U-joint off, and you slide the shaft over it sits in another slot take this chain off back this all the way out thread it out that closes this pulley that opens that up so you can get the belt through there now you gotta take this rod out take this out get it out of the way now 
that's out. Now, it loosen these bolts up and then cock this gearbox over and that opens this area up so you can slip the belt through there. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, so I actually didn't have to loosen them bolts up and turn this gearbox. Uh, I was able to get the belt up and around here and got it between the adjuster and there. And with a little penetrating oil on that wall, I was able to turn it and it slid the belt right around and got it up where we needed it. So now we're trying to loosen the rotor up so that we can move the rotor towards us and get the belt threaded on that pulley. So all you gotta do is loosen them bolts up, then loosen them nuts up, pry it over, and then it should slip right in that pulley. By tightening that nut, you're pushing the rotor over and it will loosen it up so we can get this belt rolled around that pulley. But you gotta loosen these two bolts first. It moves slow, not very fast. And while you have this apart, this is a good time to thread all this, thread this out and really lube it up good so that this little electric motor can turn it easily. So what you'll actually have to do is you'll have to get the belt back out of this pulley, lay it to the front here, spread this one out, then get this belt inside of here, and then come back over here, put the rotor in neutral and turn this, and this belt will run right on this pulley and fall right in. But another hard part is when you're putting the belt up here, is getting it squeezed around here. You'll have to hold the separator belt out and get it squeezed around the nose of this pulley to get it around there. It's not a real bad job, it's just messing with that big belt, it's kind of tricky. Getting it twisted around where you need it and stuff. So now we're going to put everything back together the way we took it all apart. So now that we got everything put back together, uh, we got the rotor in neutral. And we're going to start the machine so that the pulleys find their happy place on that belt. And it becomes centered in the pulleys. The centrifugal force will... What is he doing? He's supposed to be starting a combine. There he goes. working good see everything that was in it. it had a big wad of stuff in it yet so now we're gonna clean all our tools up and I think we can go back to cutting beans now so the only thing I need to do is the limiting micro switches that stop it from going too far one way or too far the other way fast or slow I need to redo them switches because they're all kind of junk so dad's gonna reset the concaves now and then uh, we're gonna go back to cutting beans. So I think I'm gonna unplug them limiting switches, get them off so I can take them back to shop and rebuild them because they'll run without them, it don't need those. And uh, we're good. So if you like this episode of Dirt Green Steel, give me a like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And that's how you change a rotor belt.